Hello everybody, Monkey King here, bringing you a new SH Figuarts review, and today we're going to be looking at SH Figuarts Tiger and Bunny Lunatic, or Yuri Petrov, as that's his real name, and here he is without his getup, and then here he is with his getup. Now as you can see, the box is absolutely gorgeous, sporting full figure on the side, though on this side it just has lunatic, and I love the lettering on this by the way. On the bottom, Japanese. On the back, you have Hear the Voice of Thanos, along with a couple of poses that you can actually get him into, which, yes, if you want to, you can get him in pretty much a lot of different poses, but these are just some that the character would do himself, so... Though it doesn't really seem like it's showing off a lot of posing that this guy can do, trust me, he can do a lot of posing. But overall, the box alone intrigues me, and it makes me want to play with him. So, speaking of him, and here we have the ever-lovely lunatic. The sculpting on him is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see. If you've noticed, he has a sort of hand pattern on him, which goes along with the character. If you've ever watched Tiger and Bunny, you'll know why. Even sports that little hand on his head. Again, watch Tiger and Bunny, you'll understand. Yuri Petrov, or Lunatic, as you can see, is one of my more favorite of the figures because, much like Tiger, he had an amazing story when he first came in, I instantly fell in love with him, and if you learn his backstory, you feel bad for him, and you encourage him. Like, yes, there may be some lunatic haters out there, but lunatic was absolute. He, to me, is justified in what he's doing. And think about it, he's not hurting anybody but the bad guys. So I say, go lunatic. But, anyway, as you can see, as I said, lovely sculpt all the way around. Now, posability. I don't know why I keep turning it, but anyway, posability. He has an excellent neck joint, so you can swivel all the way around and, you know, do this. Don't know why you want to do that. Arms pretty much have the same, uh... With that same double double elbow joint. Though for some reason this one feels this one feels tighter. Like almost like I'm like I'm afraid to really move it a lot because I'm afraid I might be almost like bending it to the point where I might break. And also I don't know if this is clear plastic right here, or just really thin die cast, like just this right here, not the whole arm, well no, maybe, anyway, but as you can see, he still has, he has those, um, shoulder pad movements, much like a Comrider, and he has that universal shoulder joint, which I love, he has a bicep movement, some waist movement, Excellent leg movement, though he doesn't have... No way he does. Oh, how about that? So he does have that um, thigh joint that S. Figuarts are famous for. But because of the skirt, or the... Yeah, the skirt, it does hinder a little bit of the articulation. Excellent knee joints. An excellent foot joint as well, able to get all the way up there. And he does have that lovely foot joint as well, with a toe joint. And his feet are complete die cast. So now I bet you're wondering, what kind of accessories does this guy come with? Well, you're going to be impressed. He gets two trigger hands, an accusing hand, a splayed open hand, and then he gets 
these little fireball effects which are very very impressive and as you can see there are hands on the inside so basically the big fireball you get these kind of holding the flame hands like almost like he's saying I'm gonna blow you up and then here he has another one of those splayed open hands so that means in this one he has another accusing hand he also comes with another head with the flame effect he has his little crossbow sword thing with a flame effect has it closed up but it does not open up he also has a holster for that two magazine clips a stage a arm a cl his cloak which I never actually seen the back of it which is actually very impressive and two different cloaks one with the sleeve closed and one with the sleeve open so here you have a lunatic in his amazingly detailed and amazingly sculpted cloak if you notice yes I have the one that has the arm open which he, he gets kind of a good range with it but otherwise it does hinder the articulation so this one has pretty much the same design but the sleeve is not up if you're wondering how to get these on there are little pega holes in the back which is good but the thing is he he himself has nothing to rest on so when you're putting this on he's just flailing about flapping everywhere I'm going to switch out one of his hands let's go ahead and get his little trigger hand which his hands to me probably one of the more difficult figure arts I've ever actually had to put in there but after that it's pretty pretty easy though with the trigger hand this is the bad thing you have to bend the plastic to actually get it in there and everything so that is a unfortunate downside but just to see how well everything works so you know what I'm gonna go ahead and get this off let's get this little cloak off of him so he can breathe see yeah there are little two peg holes in the back but he doesn't have peg holes up here so there's nothing really like I said there's nothing for him to really rest on so here he is with his little gun or crossbow which I love the effects on this the flame effects are absolutely gorgeous we'll go ahead and use one of his fireball hands if you're confused just kind of look in here you can pull the hand out if you want and of course if you pull out the wrong hand it's a very easy mistake because it is a little hard to see the actual hand in there so we'll just go ahead and put the hand in here You know what, I'm going to go ahead and take this hand off as well. And the bad thing is, once you get the hand in here, now you got to find what all pieces go where. So let's see. Uh, give me one second. And here we have a lunatic with his flame effects hands and the flame effects head now as I said with the hands it is a little tough to get them in the joints especially in the head I don't know why I mean I do like the fact that I don't feel like they're so loose that it's just gonna pop off but 
it does take a little time to get them on there. Uh, but other than that, it's still pretty good. So, you know, he still has the same articulation as he did before. Except now he has giant flaming fireballs on his hands. And he could, if you wanted to, you could turn him the other way so it makes it look like he's... I did not think about that, but I have an idea. So now we've got his little... Now that he's, you know, fixed his hands and he's got some, uh, clear eyes in his eyes, he's still under a fire. I also wanted to show off where the spare little crossbow goes. Fits in there very well. And then here's his little magazine clips. Although, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and pull that out. Considering if you have this in hand, then you don't really need the other one in there as well, either. But, overall, Lunatic is an absolute joy to have. Besides the tightness in the joints, of course, this might just be mine. He is a superb figure art for any anybody that have a Tiger and Bunny fan, or just an SH figure art fan, or if you just think he's amazing, or you... Yeah, I'm sure I recommend him for everybody. So, Lunatic gets a perfect 5 out of 5. So guys, this is the Monkey King saying, review on.